any paperwork came with this? I mean, usually Not, yeah, when stuff it, comes in from Fendi, you have the card, like a yeah. The because they do retail like for some, like over six hundred and nine hundred almost. It just uh, depends on the condition and like what kind they are. Some of it will sell okay quickly here before holidays. A few of them here I might take to eBay because I maximize my profit there. Hey Pete, guys over here. <laughs> this is all the way... Oh, it's not that far. Hmm, kind of my back of the woods, I can say. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Because my cabin is about an hour away from Green Bay now. Let's see what we got here. Ah, we got toys. We got treats. We got something for Miss Walters. We got something, her favorites for honey. Where is she? She's in the back somewhere. Then we got a little toy that's for you. You're gonna play with this, I know you will. All right, Peter, we enjoy your channel. A little something for Honey, Miss Walters and Ruby from Seeds and Hops. Well, thank you so much, I appreciate it. They will appreciate it. Let's get into today's video. So we said 10 bucks on this. Here I got numbers what I could do on it. If you're okay with it, I'll buy it. If not, I'll just pass. Because stuff like this, it doesn't fly off the shelf yeah, for I gotcha. me, you know? Yeah. So between all of these here, you're looking at 75 bucks. Okay. 20, 20, 25, and 10, like we said on that. So if you're okay with I think that. this one's worth like, if you should get 80 bucks for it, but. I can bump up maybe another five dollars. Okay. Thirty bucks would be like Fair enough. so. Eighty bucks for this stuff here. Yeah. What are you thinking on a Seiko? I I can't even remember what I have into it. Um, so I mean, original tech, you still have it here. It says that it was like you know retail a thousand bucks, but they usually go between yeah, like eight to nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I'm looking at stuff right now. What what sold? Mm -hmm. Brand new, eight hundred bucks. Yeah. You can you can still get it. Yeah. Quite a few different companies are listing them anywhere mm -hmm. between like eight to eight fifty out there on the market. It is nice. It's clean. It's not beat up, but yeah. it's a used watch, so I yeah. gotta sell it as gotcha. used. Used market brings between like three to five hundred bucks. Okay. So something like this from me, let's say on average, if it's clean, if I can get four out of it. I'll offer you about half of that, which is two. Yeah, that sounds that sounds so, about right. Yeah. So, so if you feel okay with that, I can do two hundred bucks on that. Um, on this lady's watch from Legends, kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. Only one that I found sold, except it's blue. Mm -hmm. Same exactly model, but blue color, and this one sold for five forty nine. A little bit harder market, I think, to move with that type of watch uh, for ladies tops $250 from me or I pass because yeah. I think I'm gonna have to sit on this till I find the right buyer you know? I, honestly I mean I, I think that's true I think it's gonna take a little while so I think so, that's fair so if you're okay with with those yeah. numbers I can do that for you so 250 yeah. two, and then we got uh, 80 bucks here 250 to 80 yeah okay yeah, that sounds great. That works? Yep. Okay, um, awesome. All right, sounds Thank good. you so much. Let me... Uh, I do need your ID, so I'll write this yeah. up in the meanwhile, and then if you find something in the shop, we can do a little bit of trading too, and I'll make you better deal or something. Great, so, okay? thank you. Um, guitars, I have two also. Um, nothing fancy. One's a... I think they're both Squires. One's for a kid, one's adult. Okay. So adult one, I would probably be interested. Kid, not so much. Okay. So you have it here? Yeah. Yeah, bring it in. I'll okay. check it out. Yeah. Cancel. Smells good, boys. So this is this is weird. So I just picked up pizza from Domino's across the street, and I used to call the store all the time. Somebody would pick up in the store. I would tell them, Hey, this is Pete from across the street. I want to order pizza. Blah blah blah. They would always give me a good deal, right? Because normally they charge for large thin crust, like whatever, twenty four dollars. But they would always give me like 50% off, like $12.99 or something. But this time I called and it's a weird voice. Like you can tell that it's 
almost like a computer sounding, but almost perfect. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, so she's repeating what address I'm going to pick this up. And I say, yes. Then she asks me, what do I want? I say what I want and it's okay. And then she says something like, this is going to be $27.99. Are you okay with that? And I'm like, no, I normally get a discount. And immediately, even before I almost finish saying, not a problem. We have a discount. It would be eleven ninety nine. Like, and that's what it is. Eleven ninety nine plus tax. But so it was so weird. Like they with, do. without even. Yeah. I don't know if they have something in a system. You know what I mean? Yeah. That they see, or just by me saying no, it's not okay. The computer immediately like we don't want to lose this sale. Let get weird, bizarre. I never. Yeah. <laughs> like well, I'm sure you seem like those like concept ta taco bells and stuff where it's like a two-story fast food place and yeah yeah just, they have like a conveyor belt too. bringing your food just down in time i'm just in crazy time. you want to bite no, no for sure so anyway let's enjoy this pizza <laughs> he is today he, a watch he, day or something he didn't look them all up but he looked up i don't know some of like these he said and Ooh. i'm like the, he's looking around now but okay. uh he says around 3,000 or something that, you know, is there. He said he didn't really count these into that, but, you know, okay. he was hoping to do a lot deal. It's, it's and this is him here. How's it going? So. Good. How are you? Good. I'm Pete. Nice, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Guys over here. Guys <laughs> over here. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Jay. You know, pleasure to meet you. Me. So what's going on? Today must be a watch day or something. You uh, your second yeah, yeah, yeah. guy with a bunch of watches. There's a charger over there. A no suitcase full of watches. I'm from Atlanta, but I was in what? the area for work. Maybe just free look it up again, I guess. Yeah. I just put a price on that yesterday. Do you know how and much it's gone already? Yeah. Huh. Do you remember or no? Uh, I Remember that was that guy that was debating to buy it for the longest time, back yeah. and forth, back yeah. and forth. Yeah, came time, with man. the charger too. Uh, so I told him fifty at that time, but I think the price would be sixty-five with with the battery. Sixty-five with the battery. And we got, I want to say thirty in it. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of them like to use every now and then. There's a couple that are brand new. Yeah. But I mean, I obviously had so many I wasn't wearing it all that often. <laughs> so I'm looking at some of these brands, and a lot of them I'm not familiar with. We really got some you know? Nova, Simpson over here. Yeah. They already looked at the But like, I'm. I'm some of these small. Great. I've never, never heard of this brand. Well, some then of them I, are even like autos. Then we got Acro here. Are these all fossil here or no? Mm, just yeah, that one. Swatch, fossil. Okay. So what's the story with them? Are you collector of watches or you acquire them somehow and no, I'd what's say the story? Over like the last seven, eight years, I was collecting. And okay. really most recently I've kind of found like five or ten that I usually wear and these kind of just have been sitting for the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. Moving them around with me in the boxes and everything. That one I think is an automatic, so if you shake it, it should turn on. It's got an open case back, carbon fiber. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. So they're, I mean, they're, they're cool pieces here and there, but yeah, some of them are smaller brands. So how many watches we have here overall? Uh, don't count those. Yeah, don't count those. These are just, I can see these are just cheap watches. This, this, I don't know if I messed up the counter, I think 32 older. I got. How many? I think I counted 32. Like this one, actually, he... The yeah, band dry rotted on it or whatever, but I just don't know if I really want to get into some of these brands that I'm not familiar with. You know how we do with them in a shop here. Yeah. They're not that good. Most of it of the stuff I would have to sell online scares me a little bit on some of the brands that I don't know. So why don't we do this? Give me a few more minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna pick a few brands here, look them up, see what I can see on them and we go from there because there's a couple brands here that I'm, I'm I know I'm aware what they roughly can bring but some of this I have I've no, never yeah. seen you know so give me a few minutes yeah let me look into this and and see what we can come up with and, and you want to do like a bundle deal right you want to get yeah, okay yeah. so so if you don't mind browse around for a couple more minutes yeah, yeah. Take your time. and as soon as I'm ready I'll, I'll give you a call and, and we'll see what we can do 
Let me ask you, you know any any info on this, any paperwork on this Mont Blanc watch? That one's iffy. Okay. If I don't think it's legit. They're probably not. Um, with the numbers that are on the back, I can't even find an image of it according to those numbers that something like this exists. Now it's nicely done, um, but when I look at it actually with the loop on the edges, it starts to get some pitting and stuff. I mean, some of their watches will bring decent yeah. money, you know, so that's why I'm asking. It's probably one of the most, yeah, I, that's like, probably it jumped out right away, right? That could, this could possibly be something, but... I'm least when confident I, in that one, for sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to try to steer you in the wrong direction. That, you know. So, I probably, whatever we have, like, here... If at the end of the deal, if you want to throw this in, maybe we can do something. I'm not kind of keyed on any yeah, of these watches, right. just like you did it said at the beginning that some of this is not, you know. Yeah, I mean, the only one that I think maybe had some. I actually did some research on a $25, $30 watch. That's it, on a good day, you know. And okay. there's a lot of them, quite a few listed, and only one sold yeah. that I found. So, and then, kind of some of the wood ones, I mean, I think people just. They present well, but yeah. they probably don't have that much. But like, value. for example, this this wood one here, um, kind of cool design on the inside. You can see the guts of it, right? Yeah. Um, pretty light, nice bracelet here. 25 bucks. Yeah, you amazing. know what I mean? That's that's what we saw, what it sold for. So it's like, what are you thinking? What do you want to get out of this? We got about 30 watches here, okay? Yeah. Uh, without counting these. Right. So like what I did in terms of like when I found, looked up comps on eBay and things like that, I was at like 3,100 or so. And so I know you're- you Retail, what, what do you think they yeah. they would bring? So okay. Like half of that. So about 1,500 bucks you were thinking. So about 50 bucks a watch you're thinking, if we got you, 30 you watches. Win on some, you pay. Yeah, but see there's some that I found, you know, $100, $150, but then I got, 27 bucks, you know, like right. 60 like, bucks. So something like this you put out here, it, I mean, you can show it and you may get more for it because it's got an open back. Yeah. Auto. I know, I'm kind of debating. Um, some of it will sell okay quickly here before holidays. Some of it, a few of them here I might take to eBay because I maximize my profit there. Yeah. Like this watch here, I will never get buck 50 out of it, but I will get buck 50 on eBay right. for this watch. That one's also pretty similar, probably like 100 on eBay. Came up 170. Yeah. Okay. Um, my thing is that I don't do the best with watches <coughs> in my shop, so I'm, I'm thinking in my head, I mean, like this nice box. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. You got all boxes here. Most of them have boxes, so they're very nicely. They present themselves. It's just from experience how I sell watches here. It takes time, right? Yeah. Um, unless it's a very high-end watch, then I got a different clientele, and they move. You know, watches that are ranging between like fifty to about one hundred fifty bucks. They're just kind of sitting. I'm waiting. Most of the young crowd is not into the, those watches that much. You know, everybody's kind of, I'm old school guy. I love my watch. Everybody's looking at their phone yeah. or iPhone, you know, I, I watch. Between all the watches that you have here and then the few knives that we got here, I wouldn't want to be in it more than a thousand bucks. So not exactly the, you know, what you were thinking, you know? Uh, if you want to just sell me the knives there, um, those knives I can do like hundred fifty dollars there. I think it was at like two hundred. Well, because he had it at one seventy eight, but I'm actually calculating this watch back into this. Oh, okay. He had it written down for like one seventy eight or something here. Um, uh, so I could for the watch seventy I originally had yes, but total yeah. one seventy eight. But that's that's how I would break it down. So, 850 watches, 150 the knives, thousand bucks for everything. That's real, right? Yep. Yeah. I don't want to be in them. I'll be honest. Any more than that, I don't. Some of them will sell here for 40, 50 bucks. Some of them, hopefully, I can put online. But meet me halfway, about 50. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I 
I think I'm gonna stay firm on this. Stay firm? Yeah, it's just it's just quite a bit of watches. This is gonna fill up my whole case and it's gonna be, you know, some time for me to move this. So if you don't feel with that, you don't feel that number, I, I totally get it, but I don't uh, wanna be any higher than, than a that. A thousand and a thousand store credit. A uh, hundred store credit. Trying to squeeze just another hundred bucks. Couple. That's fine, we'll do that. Okay, so a thousand yeah. cash and a thousand store credit. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. We got shook on, on that, didn't we? It's on a video. Wow. <laughs> no. What's in there? You said it first, yeah. and then I repeated it, and it came out cool. So, all right. Did you find anything yet so uh, far? Maybe some like games, okay. like maybe a t shirt okay. or something. All right. Very cool. All right, I do need your ID. We'll write this up, and, uh, and I'll have you on your way. So. Hey, sleepyhead. Wake up. I got something for you. Come on. Wake up. Maybe. Depends on what it is. Your favorite player, Justin Fields. Okay. How is that? You like it? She might be tiny too big for this. She's only like 10 pounds, but she might be tiny too big. You like it? Chris Bryant, World Series. So we're going to put this out for sale. Just lay in this one so you don't get all the hair everywhere. Easy for me to say, right? She's yeah. going to be on top, she's going to be inside. You like it? Of course you like it. Yeah. So the story is your girlfriend got it? My somebody? fiance got fiance? it for uh, her birthday and we're just short on rent. I don't know anything about it. Any paperwork came with this? I mean, usually not, yeah. when stuff it, comes in from Fendi, you have the card, like a... Yeah, it, not that I saw. I can look around at home again, but... I mean, it's a pretty luxurious band over, you know, brand overall, so usually stuff comes with it. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't know anything about it. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. The way this is all done and stitched, I don't think this is a real bag. No, it's not. I don't think so. Okay. Just everything that they do, most of these brands is done to perfection. That's why yeah. you're paying the top dollar for some of these, you know? Yeah, I, that makes sense. Like the edging, the stitching is not even stuff coming out here. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, you I, wouldn't have stuff like this on a, on a bag that it's, you know, a thousand dollars. Yeah. But then again, I'm looking at this, that this was in. Look. Some kind of Chinese writing. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is one of the knockoffs. I think, okay. man. I don't think I would be interested in it. Although yeah. you know they they put a lot of effort. Yeah. To this, but even even a box, it wouldn't have stuff like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just. Sorry, man. I no, think this no, is, it's okay. This is a complete knockoff, I think, and uh, okay. I wouldn't be interested in it. Occasionally, here and there. You know, if somebody brings me a really nice, you know, yeah. Louis Vuitton yeah, or Gucci if bag, if it's it. legit, I'll look into it because I can move stuff like that on a, online. But this one, I think, is a complete yeah. knockoff. So. Okay. Good yeah. luck, man. Thank you. No problem. So I, I don't know what to think about this gentleman that just left with that bag. What's your opinion? The way he, after we told him we don't deal with bags anyway, he kind of pushed on. But can you check out my bag? Can you check out my bag? What? I don't know, we, we were like, because I asked you, I'm like, do you want to, you know, because then Ryan kind of chimed in and then you're like, yeah, you know, we'll look at it. But but before that, you know, when Ryan and I were talking to him, we are like, you know, no. And he's like, well, you know, are you sure you don't want to look at it? He started yeah. pulling it out after we were kind of like, I don't want to call it like a soft no, but it was a pretty adamant, you know, yeah. we wouldn't be interested. So I... I don't want to say that he was trying to scam us, mm -hmm. but after I pointed out a few a things, pushy. he seemed a little pushy. And after I pointed out a few things that this is probably not a real bag, he was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, so I don't know if he was trying to pull one on us or not, uh, but that bag was definitely fake. So yeah, he was uh, adamant about, uh, you know, wanted he, you to look at it. But he did later on, not like totally just walked out out of the shop. He roamed around for yeah. a few minutes. He looked at a few things. Mm -hmm. He kind of chatted for a few minutes. So, yeah. but it was definitely weird. But there's a lot of fakes out there for sure from all different brands. So you got to be really careful. Right, hon? Right? They're 1960s Levi's. 
or all original from yep. that era. Yep, they have the big E on them. Something they stopped doing in '71, and still has the tag on them. They're in really good shape, and they they um they sell for quite a bit now. Last They're, time he brought them in, I uh, I think he's right. I think I did quote him like 300 bucks. It's hard to find the exact same pair. Like, you'll, like you'll find so some... what I learned is these are the factory numbers. Mm -hmm. So the letter the number eight is the eighth factory. Um, because remember last time you were here, I remember we were like, okay, well, I could find the buttons the same, same but then but we can't find the, the stitching inside side, or something, something is, is different, different or, you yeah. Know, so, 42 on the zipper, I mean, they're still in great condition overall, for, yeah, you know, from the 60s. I mean, from the 60s, the bottom you gotta watch for like yeah, this, this stitch where they seem yeah, together, yeah. and so this is like. So sell this is would be like a salvage stitch, but it's like a kind of inter like in between like in between when they switched it, I believe, because they started doing a different stitch later on. You can see it better on that side. And which model is that? That's These are five oh fives. Five oh fives. And what did you offer, Ryan? He said I, I want to say it, it, he was right. I think I offered like three because I think I started at like two fifty and I mm -hmm. bumped it up to three. Yeah. The because they do retail like for some like over 600 to 900 almost, it just uh depends on the condition and like what kind they are. But they're 1960s Levi's 505. Wow, look at this! Somebody has a pair here, brand new, never used. Wow, two thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> that's what they're asking, yeah. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Someone just never wore them, probably left them in their attic or something or in the garage. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, no, I was cleaning, um, looking through clothes to donate, and I found these pair, and I realized the stitching or the letter on them, and I, I heard somewhere that they're vintage. And whoever wore them was left-handed. Look at that wallet mark. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's quite a few of them listed in different conditions, you know, and they're all showing the the cuff. And, yeah. But let me see if anything actually sold. So let's go to sold's listing and see what we can see. Yeah. Here's 505. They're calling this red line. I don't know what that means. Red line red is line. like this the salvage stitching. This, That's the, the, okay. what they're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So that one went for 320. Look at this pair. Good size though, 36 by 32. Two, yeah, these are uh, 36 by 28. Okay, so they're a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. This is like the perfect, 36 by 32. 32, that's like the average yeah. height and waist. Look, $949, that's a good price. Here's another one. Post red line, so that's after. They're they calling Salvage XX. What is the XX stands for? This, this part right this here, This part, yep. okay. See, um, See, last time I looked at them, they were a lot more steady, like, you know, 600, five yeah, to like 500, 600. Five to nine or something. Kind of all over here, right? Because we got 341, 227. This one was, somebody was asking 675. They took an offer on them. Some of them, like, you see they're worn. Similar size to yours, 29. Yeah. You know, 40 by 30. So you got to take that in consideration, that mm -hmm. size too. Yeah, the how, size. How appealing it is to how many people. I was know? thinking it's a decent, because it's a good waist, but the... 36, yeah. perfect waist, waist right? But the length. Most guys, but the length... Because I'm a, a short guy. Short. They fit me a little, they fit me perfectly, actually. Right. But See, me, I got a 32, 33. That's how I wear them. Yeah. yeah. One, you know, so, man, I don't know. They're all over the place. That's how it, it's been. Like that six seven is kind of where, where it I was, was thinking yeah. you could probably get before. Cause see how now you're going further it's back down and it's now like nine hundred. Right, but perfect sizes. Like look, thirty six by thirty three. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. What are you thinking on a jacket? On the flak, I mean, they're going for like three hundred to two fifty all day. That much now, huh? Because the military stuff, um, look, you've seen how much I there have is and it doesn't yeah. change much, you know? I mean, this is a pretty cool piece. I feel like this would get some, like, get the right buyer. It's all, it's in beautiful condition. It I looks, mean, it looks clean, looks decent, nothing's ripped. Like, you could still see the green paint on the zipper. That's like never, this was unissued. I bought it at a surplus store unissued. I was carrying it. Yeah, that's my hand mark. But it does have a little bit of uh, some stains, I think, from like wetness, maybe, or just sitting. 
Like, what's really inside? What is this? It's like a... I don't know if it's like a Kelvar. Not Kevlar. It's not that. It's uh, not Too early for Kevlar. It's right like now. a fiber glass. Not fiberglass, but like some sort of like... I don't know what it is. Really hard to say. I forgot what it was. It's like this weird material that's like... Armor body fragmentation. It's not meant to stop bullets, but it's meant to stop Protective like... Protective with three-quarter color. It's almost like a gooey layer of like yeah. tar type. Yeah, know, it's meant to just protect like... you from like grenade shrapnel and like explosions right, and stuff. Right, right. And, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm this was the early, two, early... Two to three, basically. Like three to 279. So what are you thinking on this one? I was thinking maybe like 150 on the flak. And then for the jeans, I, I I mean the prices are fluctuating on them, so I understand like I could do two fifty on the jeans, because I know you could probably. So I'm gonna be honest. I'm comfortable with like two fifty on these. Okay. I'm I'm good with that. This on the other hand, I wouldn't want to go any higher than like a hundred bucks. I don't. So if you're okay with that, we'll do it. If not, I'll pass on this one. So between both of them, you got three fifty. If you want to do that, if not, we'll just do the jeans for two fifty. Yeah. Well, you know I'll do, I'll do the three fifty. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do that. All right, cool, awesome. I'll fit you probably. <laughs> You're a little shorter, no? You need, you need thirty. I think I have thirty twos for length. Yeah, see, that that's what I have to do. Yeah, no, I wear a thirty so. X thirty, so those are like a bit just below the ankle <laughs> but those jeans are kind of expensive for me i wouldn't want to wear them yeah no i don't that's the thing i don't even want to touch them that's the thing i love them but i don't want to wear them right 300 bucks i'm only gonna make 50 dollars on you <laughs> all right well now i'm thinking about it <laughs> i do need your idea all right yeah so i just got these jeans right and i just noticed this right on the edge now ryan says it will probably not affect the price on these because people like vintage jeans to be a little bit dis 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 distressed right yep. so this one has a little like a notch here and there's a tiny little super small hole right in the middle of the pants but i love to learn things about old vintage things and the main thing that he said right away to identify these jeans that they are 1960s and actually 1967 was the first year that the levi's 505s were made uh, the big giveaway right away is on the red tag when it says Levi's. The letter E is capital. Later on, from 1971, they started making a uh, small E. So that's the first thing that you will look. Second thing, what you would look is the inside uh, seam for the sleeve that it's not double-sided when it comes to stitching. So on one side it stays white and it has a red line going through it. Later years they have stitching on both sides. So that's number two. Number three is the stitching itself, the color. So by the zipper, all the stitching on the jeans is done with an orange, orange color. But right by the zipper, there's a yellow color. Uh, later years they did everything with the orange so that gives you a good indication that this is a uh, early piece and number one thing is they started putting care tags inside somewhere on the jeans on the inside there would be a little white tag that would have a bunch of different numbers letters actually gives you even a date on it anything after 1971 would have the tag the previous ones don't have that but that doesn't mean that somebody didn't remove one from the later years so you got to look at those three examples that I uh, showed you earlier and also for 505s the button that buttons up the top uh, will be kind of that copper color instead of the silver color and will also have um, imprint on the back of the button which factory was it made so this one i think it says eight um, but the three major ones are the two color stitching the stitching on the inside of the sleeve and of course the letter e on the red tag on the back so yeah i love learning stuff like that now i'm i feel like i'm an expert all of a sudden no, yeah uh, so that was full power that was full power okay 4500 there's nine thousand. 
25,000 the fan kicks on. Okay. Oh, to cool it down, huh? Yeah, yeah, 50,000. Wow, look how bright it is. And then it goes back to uh, 30, and then if you double click it, it'll go to full power. So it'll light up a whole field. Yeah. So uh, what would you use this on, like? A boat? Going out on a boat oh, for yeah, uh, okay, alligator in, hunting at yeah, night? Yeah, probably something like that. <laughs> if yeah. you're in a car yeah. and you drop it yeah. with your seat, you can see. So double click it, it goes full power? Yeah. Uh, yep. Wow. You just turn off the lights and use that all day. That's insane. I made a mistake of pointing at my, uh, myself when I was turning it on the first time. You know, I, all I saw was stars for like 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, sure. when you f flashed it that way when I was it walking was out, I'm still now. seeing spots. And that wasn't even... <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it, it, it does seem darker in here now. <laughs> So this is one of those items that we would have to move online. Yeah, there's no there's way no we're going to sell it here because it's it's such a niche market. Somebody that really needs something like this, you yeah, know? Yeah. What are you looking to get out of this? I'll put it on my bike. Uh, they go brand new for about six seventy. I was hoping to get four four fifty somewhere around there. Right, I think here. not that you're asking the wrong price, but it's just like. Yes, that's kind of the new range, like 500 to 679 there. There's not a whole lot as far as pre-owned. There's this one, but I don't know what they accepted. Yeah. I mean, it's in mint condition, but I can't sell it as new anymore. I don't give anybody warranty, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think that's the only pre-owned one there is. is Which that, one is that? Uh, the one where they had 499 or best offer, but then you also have the news, like... Four ninety nine for yeah, best. I mean, I don't know how much you got in it, but from me on something like this, two hundred bucks, man. You're taking uh, a beating. No, I wouldn't. Because I'm trying to usually double my money. Yeah. You know, I mean, two fifty would be like tops, no, and I'm I, trying to get five hundred out of it. You know, no, I'd go to four. If you don't, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be. See, close. at four, I'm not making any money. After I put this online, and I, mm -hmm. even if I sell it for five, twenty percent to eBay, hundred bucks like that. Yeah. So there's yeah. no point here, really. You know. I, so. All right, no problem. Thanks for bringing it in. Cool, Thank you. Cool, yeah, thanks for taking cool, a look. cool flashlight for sure. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks. No, like, like seriously, you know, what would you use this for? Like to land airplanes? Signal right up here. <laughs> yeah. You can signal somebody on a moon. Yeah. Well, how, like, how many lumens? He said 120,000? I think no, 120. 120. I thought it was like... No, 120,000 I thought he said. I might still even have it pulled up here. I think it was way Yeah, 120,000. That's, so That's still crazy. I mean, it's all in one <clears throat> area. Like I said, I mean, unless you're going like deer hunting in deep yeah. woods or some... Yeah, but even if you're deer hunting, you shine at a deer, what's it going to do? Get blind, run into the tree? Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe that's the idea. <laughs> the freaking thing doesn't know where to go and right? you just <laughs> pop it, you know, so... Guys, postcard time. 11.36, 11.37, 11.38, 11.39, 11.40, 11.41, 11.42, 11.43, 11.44, 11.45, 11.46, .11 .46, and 11.47. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Start?